Welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here at the second race in the X Electrics Championship. I have here with me the ET Max. Thanks to Steven who's getting ready over here. It looks like it has the E Rides pedals on it, which give it a lot of grip. You need the E Rides pedals on a machine like this, which is on the heavier end of the electric unicycle spectrum. It is raining a bit, so we're not going to go super hard. I'm kind of reviewing this from a racing perspective. So I'll take everything I have to say with a grain of salt. I cannot really compare this wheel to other wheels, but you know which wheel I'm riding and which wheel I love the most. I haven't even really tried this yet. I've only kind of just done some uh, some basic, like, uh, you know, whew, right off the bat, it feels a lot heavier and a lot more awkward to hold, but I love the 90-90 tire. Super beefy tire. We're just waiting for Steven to get his gear, and then we're going to go out onto the circuit and do a few laps, but we have to be careful because it's raining and slippery, and I'm not trying to drop his wheel. I love the E-Rides pedals. I love the metal. It feels like one of Bagode's most solid wheels. The suspension is not set up to me, so I can't really judge the suspension too much, but I prefer the Forks type of suspensions in general for racing. Um, so the suspension here is a rear suspension, and it uh, looks like it's missing the cap there. And you would just adjust it here. These are just my first impressions. This is not a review. Like the kickstand, it looks like it's good, so you're not going to catch. All right, Steven's here. Thank you, Steven, for letting us try the ET Max. He didn't want to race it for this race because it's just he hasn't had time to really get used to it, and he loves his links. So, and this is maybe not quite the best racing wheel for this circuit. Maybe for like a high-speed circuit, like an F1 circuit, this could be the better option. So... Uh, the screen is really nice, has a nice big screen. It looks like it's waterproof. It's, you know, taking the water pretty well. I don't know what these are. Uh, these are Bedal pads. Oh, and he's using Grizzlas right here for his foot. That's a good idea. Steven Perez. And the e rides pedals, of course. The handles. I don't like the handles. Uh, well, they're okay, but with, with the pucks, it's a little bit harder to grab. Vamos. Okay. Go on to the circuits. What's up, Charizard? Whew. So, yeah. It feels a lot more stable. Very similar to the V V13 off the bat. So we'll go onto the circuit here. Feeling very similar to the V13. And it's raining again, so it looks like the race is going to be canceled. Where'd Psycho go? Oh, fuck. He's right there. Oh, you're a ninja. Okay. We're going to go tranquilito, guys. Tranquilito, just stop testing the torque, seeing how it feels. It's raining again, so we gotta be careful. Torque feels pretty good. I do feel like I'm higher up, a lot higher up. Let's see if we can do some psycho drags. Oh, look at the, look at the, the car there. Ooh, I love the 90-90 tire. Ooh. I don't know, this feels pretty good to me. Oh, a little bit of a there. Ooh. This feels good. This actually feels, this is actually surprising me a bit, so. Ooh, the braking, I, I would need my my pads for the braking will be my issue. But uh, the accelerations feel good. But the braking, not so much. But that's, I think, more from pad setup. So we'll take this corner. I love the 90-90 tire. It feels good. Definitely raining hard. Ooh, it feels nice. You just got to run your lines different. Ooh, I love the 90-90 tire. I felt faster on this little turn. Cycle's having trouble keeping up. Hopefully the microphone's still going. But uh, we'll wait for him to get closer. But I feel really good. This feels good. I'm surprised. I'm actually, I was expecting more negative off the bat. But once you get on it and feel, it's like really that 90-90 tire feels good. Feels really good. Oh, it looks like the monocycles are, we're all kind of coming out onto the circuit wanting to race. I'm going to give it a little bit of torque here. Oh man, this feels powerful. I mean, it's for sure, for sure, for sure. I love how it rounds the corners too. It feels good. Really like how this feels. I love the 99 tire. I'm impressed. I think this actually could be a racing UC with the right techniques. It comes around the corners fast. Uh, I just need to be careful braking because the pads aren't set up to me. But I think if I had a good pad set up, it could be even better. Come around shines here. Uh, I don't know where we left off. I'm actually enjoying this mo wheel more than I thought I would. It, it, the 90-90 tire is what I love most about it. And uh, the power. It has an amazing amount of torque. 
and look, I'm cornering here perfectly. Like, and I, you know, I have to slow down again so Psycho can keep up. But it corners really well with that bigger tire. I thought it would be more top heavy, but it's actually feeling really good. I don't prefer the suspension, but it's not set up for me. And maybe this isn't the be better suspension so far. But man, it really is a really nice wheel. I am liking it. I. I don't know that it would be my first choice for for racing on this circuit but like i said on a bigger circuit it could be amazing man like it feels really well balanced feels really incredible torquey yeah it's a it's a really good wheel man i i'm liking it overall we're just gonna do one more lap and then uh i'll do some closing thoughts but i like his pad setup too it's very good pad setup feels torquey feels like an amazing wheel man i for the price, I think this is only a three thousand dollar wheel compared to the Lynx, which is at four thousand. I'll compare the prices. This feels like it is at a good price point for everything that you're getting. I've heard of some issues with this wheel. Some people's shocks have been exploded upon arrival, so the first batch is not the batch to get. Um, and then some overheating issues, but this wheel has been running perfect as far as I know. Oh, he had some tilt back with it, so I haven't been able to test the high speeds with it, but it feels good. I love the way it feels. I'm surprised he didn't race this because he's a bigger, stronger guy. So yeah, I'm actually surprised he didn't try to race this. This is this would have been fun to try to race. And you could have different lines than all the Lynxes. Like it corners so well. You can just kind of keep your synergy going on that bigger tire. And not have to put so much work in. But yeah, the rain is coming down. So it looks like the finals are going to be canceled. Let's stop at one right tent and close. I think this wheel actually could race in the water. I don't know how water resistant it is off the top, but it feels amazing. Like I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed, ET. I was expecting to make more of a negative first impressions and dog on it, but I think long as you don't get a first batch, this feels really good. It's muy bueno. It feels good. <laughs> oh, so Steven's saying it wobbles at high speeds. So I didn't really, but I think that's because these are caca. You need more. You need better braking pads. Um, <laughs> it's low. It's very stable. And the torque is nice too. Yeah, yeah. City, city is good. The city is good. Racing, oh, thank you. Racing is bad. bad. Racing is bad? I don't know. I don't know. I think if you upgrade the suspension and uh, maybe change to a different tire, I don't know. It feels nice. Thank you. Gracias for La Perbojar. We'll go ahead. Thanks, Steven. Steven Perez, he's an amazing racer, amazing rider. I'm gonna put up his wheel so I don't wanna get much more wet. But uh, let's one last look at the ET guys. He, he doesn't, I, I actually trust his opinion. He doesn't think of it as a racing wheel, but I think with the right modifications, it could be. I think it really could be a great racing wheel with the right modifications. I felt really stable on it, but yeah, I couldn't go high speeds. The high speeds, I think it would be super stable. It feels great. Um, I'm gonna get his wheel out of the rain guys. And until next time, oh, thank you Psychotherapeutico for filming in the rain and telling me to slow down Tranquilito so I don't get hurt. Thank you to One Ride. This is the tent he's under right now. Uh, One Ride. There's Paul. There's Julia and Anton. Thank you guys for all the support. And it uh, looks like uh, we're going to have a podium now maybe in the rain. So thank you, Psycho. Thank you guys. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.